guys, so today's video is going to be a marriage Q&A. Our anniversary is October 23rd. That is crazy. I can't believe it's been a full year almost. This video is going to be super fun for us to look back on in the future. So we just wanted to kind of talk about things and talk about our thoughts, I guess. Before we get into it, I just wanted to say thank you to Cooking Fever for sponsoring today's video. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I've talked about Cooking Fever before in a vlog because it is my number one favorite game. I have played this for so long. It's my go-to game to play on airplanes. So I seriously play it for like hours at a time. I'll show you guys like a little demo, but I already have like seven restaurants, but this game is super awesome. So basically each restaurant has a different theme and there's like all kinds of different foods. Throughout each restaurant, there's like different levels. There's like so many upgrades and things you can get. Like you save up your jewels and your money and you can buy like tables and TVs and games and stuff for your restaurant. Or you can buy like if you're making coffee or something, you can buy like a faster coffee maker to make everything more efficient. So basically it's just like my number one favorite game and I'm so excited to be partnering with them. So I'm gonna have the link in the description box it'll be the very first link that you guys see make sure you guys check it out and download it and then tweet me if you do and tell me what you think because i'm like so sure i've already talked about this before but it's seriously just the best game ever so fun so addictive and there's so many levels that you can play this forever like i've been playing this game for months i'm still like don't even have all the restaurants and I haven't been like every single level in every restaurant i go on airplanes a lot and so i need something that's gonna last me like a long time so i've been playing this for quite a while and i love it so i hope you guys like it too and let's go ahead and get on into this video. Hi guys, so today Parker and I are going to be doing a Q&A. A married AF Q&A. Married AF, we have our matching shirts on. So we kind of wanted to just do a little Q&A talking about what we've learned the first year of marriage. I'll link our engagement Q&A down below. We should watch that, I don't even remember. Yeah, me either. Any, it was so long ago. First question, what is the hardest thing about being married so young? I think that a big part of it is like we both are kind of figuring out who like our individual selves are, as well as trying to figure out who we are together. Most people, when you're married young, it's hard financially. We're very lucky and fortunate to be where we are right now, so we really aren't in that situation. Yeah, what, what about you? What do you think? Yeah, I would say definitely, like I look back on us a year ago and I feel like, of course we're the same people, but I also feel like we're totally different and we've grown so much. So that's just something about married, getting married young. You kind of take that risk of, do we think we're going to grow together or are we going to grow apart? The next question is, was it hard to agree on the layout or design of your house? I mean, I don't think there was really, what? I'd say no. Yeah, no, I don't, it wasn't, no. <laughs> what is the biggest difference between dating to being married? Biggest difference for us is living together, obviously. We didn't live together while we were dating. I feel like your mindset is like different, not a ton, but also a lot at the same time. It's nice because when it's like dating and like if we got in a big fight, you'd, I'd leave and like my biggest worry is like, oh, she's gonna dump me, she's gonna dump me. But now it's like, Peace out, I'm leaving, <laughs> you can't dump me, you know? And it's like, you know that the little fights just like really, really, really don't matter. What is your favorite thing about traveling together? What, what is my favorite thing? <laughs> what is our favorite thing? I love like getting to talk about it with you. Like there are so many times when we're like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy that we did this and we met this person and yeah. we've seen this with our own eyes. We experience all the things together, which I like. 20 years down the road, we can look back and it's like, oh, we have this memory and it was with you. Who is the clean freak? Who's the clean freak? <laughs> it's not me. I'm the clean freak. I'm the type that I'll, I'll make some food and what I'll do is I'll make a bowl of cereal, I'll rinse out the bowl, put it away. Aspen gets out the milk, takes off the cap, sets the cap over here, pours the milk, pours the cereal, sets the box over here, the milk over here, and then she'll leave the bowl. The bowl. No! <laughs> the bowl of milk sitting on the counter. We were in a hurry this morning. Another thing that I wanted to point out, I was thinking about this yesterday. I never would have thought that the one in the relationship peeing on the toilet seat would be Aspen. <laughs> Aspen? Pee on the toilet seat. I've never, like, when I do pee on the toilet seat, I wipe How it up. How would I pee That's on what the I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> I swear I don't uh, do that. Guys, I don't know. How have y'all learned to deal with each other's bad habits? I feel like you just have, like the little things just don't matter. Yeah, like, you I just gotta kinda learn to push those sense. things away. Like her being a mess yeah. drives me insane. Or even part of her being so like uptight about being clean. I feel like you have almost have like no sense of time. Like we'll have like so I mean, much not, stuff to do. I'm not very good at time just, management. Yes, and I feel like I'm really good at it. Next question, who is better at planning slash organizing something? You think you? I'm so much more like efficient in that way. Yeah. 
Nah. Do you plan to have kids anytime soon and would you move close to family when you do? So my family just moved up to Salt Lake. Parker's family still lives here. So we are close to family. Yes, either way. Uh, we've talked about moving. I feel like if we did move, we would move and maybe stay somewhere for a little while and try something new. Eventually, probably move back. Yeah, but I, I would see, like I see ourselves moving back to like, like when our kids start school and stuff. Do you guys think marriage may be more mature? Um, yeah. I feel like the fact that I'm like, I have a wife, a house, a business, and like things to take care of. Is there anything that was shocking to learn about your significant other? That she pees on the toilet seat. I do not! That was shocking to learn. Next question, is it easier to end fights when you're married or when you're a girlfriend boyfriend? I think married. we're married for sure. Because you just walk out of there and say <laughs> <Yeah>. peace. <laughs> Especially because we work together all the time, so if we're ever arguing, or even when we're not arguing, like by the end of the day, whether we've been filming all day or if we've been at our store all day, the, like as soon as we get home, we just like go our separate ways. Yeah. Even if it's been a great day, no arguments, which is like most of the time, we just go to our own spaces. We just have our own time. But yeah, definitely when you're married. Next question, did you accomplish the goals you set up? Where did you put that? Envelope. Oh, you wanted to open that in this yeah. video? This envelope holds the answers to it all. This is an envelope from Bora Bora. First goal, start a production company. What did we mean by that? I don't know. Like I, think, I, think, I think we meant maybe like the Ferris, or what did we call it? Ferris Films? Yes. Oh, yeah. The film, the ones where we filmed weddings. Yeah. I, I feel like I remember us specifically writing down film at least two weddings. Yeah. And then it's pretty much as soon as we got back from our honeymoon, we filmed two, like, within a month or two. So we were we like, yes! We didn't ever our do goals! it again. Well, I get emails about it all the time, but it's just hard for us to... Because usually if you have a wedding, you book things, like, really far in advance. Yeah. And we don't really know where we're going to be. Exactly. So I would love to film more projects like that, but just right now, it's just hard with our schedule. But start a production company, we kind of did. We started a, a clothing store. Same so thing. we started a company. Second one, educate ourselves on cameras. In parentheses, take some college classes. We did take any college classes, but I do feel like we're a lot more educated I on our equipment. I definitely know a lot more about cameras than I did. Oh, number three, shoot at least one event. Did we that. did that, we shot two weddings. Four, do two service projects minimum. We didn't do that. What should we do? What kind of service project? Well, we actually leave in like two days and then we don't get back till after our anniversary. So we'll, we'll keep that we'll, on the we'll list for, for next year and we'll do something. Yeah. Become, Become consistent, consistent on the vlogs. Vlog. That didn't happen. Nope. <laughs> when we're traveling, I feel like I was pretty consistent, but now that we have the store, it's not as consistent. Be kind to ourselves and others. I feel like we... I feel like I've gotten more kind over the... The year? Yeah. And tried to be more nice. Number seven, always support each other's dreams. We made another list of places we want to go. Paris, we went, went there. there. Australia, we didn't no. go there. Yeah, we're gonna go there though. Spain, we didn't go. Italy, we didn't go. We're Hawaii, Paris. we went. Seattle, we didn't go. Big Sur, we didn't go. Toronto. Toronto, was that your idea? <laughs> maybe. We didn't go. Tokyo, we didn't go. Bali, we didn't go. And Dubai, we didn't go. Um, we have a lot of places we didn't yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of places we did, did go, but aren't on that list. Oh, these are these our vows. These are vows. our vows right here to each other. Next question is a really good one, and it's how do you make things spontaneous so you don't fall into a routine? Travel. Travel the world. I feel like being aware that you're getting into a routine. Yeah. Making a conscious effort to change it. Even little things, like sometimes our fun, spontaneous thing is literally going to the Dairy Queen, like five minutes from our house at like 11 p.m. Yeah. Was it hard to establish chores like doing laundry, cooking, lunch and dinner? How did you guys settle on that? It was really important to me that it wasn't just like specifically traditional. Like I didn't want you to expect me to do something just because it's like girls usually do it. But like there is some stuff that like Parker mows lawn. But if you told me to mow the lawn, I would do it. I would say I do the dishes more than you usually. Probably. I, I would say I vacuum more than you. Yeah, I don't even know where You've our vacuum vacuumed. is. Where do we keep it? But I feel like it's just whoever, like you just talk about it. And yeah. it's not always specifically assigned to be a person's thing, but you just have to talk about it. You just have communication. They say the first year of marriage is the hardest. Do you agree, disagree? Why and what do you expect in the years to come? Before I got married, I didn't understand why people said that. I would say the first year is probably the hardest because you're just learning so much. Yeah, definitely. So many big changes. Well, actually, I have no idea because we haven't lived the coming years. But I feel like, if anything, you would think it would get easier. I think why? Just because there's so many changes and you're merging two lives together and just trying to figure that out. And what do we expect in the years to come? Big things, guys. 
Big things are coming from us. So those are going to be all of the questions we're going to be answering. Do you have anything else you want to say? I feel like we get asked so much about like getting married young and I see people like messaging me, tweeting me, emailing me about that they're like kind of similar ages to us, the same age as us and they want advice. So what advice would you give? Not that we're super qualified, but I mean after a year, you learn so much after a year. Um, learn patience. Communication is, communication. I feel like we could even still work on our communication. We definitely could. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribing, subscribe. Because she posts amazing videos. And I film a lot of them, so <laughs> they're even better. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or tweet me. I feel like I'm better at replying to tweets. I don't know. But you can also check out our vlog channel. Link down below. We're going to be going somewhere really fun, taking some fun trips. So make sure you guys are following along, and we will see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.